This is the greatest pen ever made. The Pilot Hi-Tech C, also known as the Pilot G-Tech outside of Japan, is the greatest pen ever made. And I hear you say, surely the greatest pen ever made must have cost like a billion dollars. Nope. Okay, surely the greatest pen ever made is the one they use in space. Nope. This is it. Invented by the Pilot Pen Corporation in 1994, the Hi-Tech C featured an innovative tip design. See, the balls on the Hi-Tech C had three little indentations on it, allowing for frictionless rotation for better flow. That means less skipping for a clean and consistent line. I mean seriously, this thing rarely skips. Sometimes when I draw, I try to get scratchy lines out of the pen, but it won't. It just won't. The second key innovation that Pilot made with the Hi-Tech C was its ink. It uses a biopolymer gel ink that, for whatever reason, does not smudge your feather. Which is great if you're a left-hander. I've tried it on many different types of paper, and it handles them all just fine. You see, the Hi-Tech C is great in the same way an AK-47 is great. It's the perfect balance between quality and availability. You don't have to pay a premium on some online store that sells coked favorite pens from Japan and pay import tax on the pen. Walk into any office supply store and I guarantee you'll find one. And these things are just so goddamn reliable. I've had ones where I've dropped them, tipped down, bent it at a 45 degree angle and they still work. Like nothing happened. The Pilot High Tech C brought to you by the only guy in your group assignment that'll help you out after the rest of your group abandons you at the last second. And because it's so simple in its design, these things are pretty cheap. I can get one for 350 at my local store. But just because of its low price point doesn't mean it skims on the options. You've got your clippy clip thing to clip onto things, and you're looking at this bare plastic body and you might be thinking, it doesn't look that comfortable to hold on to. Well, that's where you're wrong. See, it's got this textured grippy part molded into the body, which I am personally a huge fan of. Uh, rubber grips over time either get brittle or sticky like that pack of half-open gummy worms you left in the backseat of your mom's station wagon. Now she's mad at you and you're forced to spend the rest of your weekend with Kurt. And listen to the sound of that click. That's the sound of someone who knows what they're doing. Not some annoying clicky spring loader. Would you please cut that out? <clears throat> no, this is affirmative. It's the sound of work getting done. So, what does this all mean for artists? Well, if you only had to bring one writing utensil out, this would be it. You can't write with a brush pen, and ballpoint pens are just too unreliable. Ink skipping is my biggest pet peeve, it just drives me up the wall. The line is fine enough that you can get very detailed with your drawings. I prefer the 0.4mm tip. On the final ones, the 0.3mm, the lines are so clean that I swear you'd think it was drawn with a mechanical pencil. But like most gel pens, the high tech C is an unforgiving pen. With ballpoint pens, you can still kind of feather your lines a little. You get to scratch in your lines up to a certain point before you have to commit. But because it's a gel pen, the high tech C is binary. It's either on or off, kind of like a felt tip pen. And because this pen is so gosh darn reliable, when you draw a line, you better be damn sure it's what you want because this thing is coming out like a freaking laser beam. Now, you might think that that's a bad thing. And it may be, at least at the beginning. I started out not liking this pen too. When I first got it, I hated it because it didn't do what I wanted it to. But like that universally hated annoying anime character that eventually gets a redemption arc and proves his or her worth, the high taxi grew on me. And now it's my favorite car pen. My favorite pen. But I encourage you to give it a shot. It doesn't even have to be the high taxi. Any gel pen would do the trick. It'll force you to slow down and think about what you actually want to do before putting pen to paper. You're gonna have a hard time and this pen will fight you. But eventually, you will grow to love this pen and who knows, by the end of it, whenever someone hands you a ballpoint pen or a pencil, you're gonna feel like Rock Lee in that episode where he has to fight what's her face and he takes off the- you know what I'm talking about. 